What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video, and if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. For the first few months, I'm going to be making a lot of badge tutorial and build videos, and then after that, I'm going to be doing a lot of gameplay and challenges. So anyway, let's get into the video. So this build is very good. You're going to want to make a point guard, and your primary skill, you're going to want to make that shot creating, and then your secondary skill, you're going to want to make that driving and finishing. So this build, even though it only has one Hall of Fame badge, it is very good. It has 10 gold badges. As you can see at the very bottom, there's Ankle Breaker. And then you have 23 layup bars, which is very good because this game actually has a skill gap and it's a lot harder to make layups. Then you have 20 for your dunks, which is very good too, especially for somebody who has shot creating as their primary skill. You have 22 to your mid range, so your mid range will probably be in the low 90s, maybe the high 80s. So that's very good. Then your 3 point is a 15, that's okay. Your 3 ball will probably be in the low 70s, maybe mid 70s, but I doubt it. Then your ball handling will be a 20, and if you make this build a certain height, you'll be able to speed boost. Then your vertical is a 21, which is very good because you can be dunking on people and jumping high when you're taking moving shots. You can be jumping over people using mid-range deadeye and stuff like that. Your speed is a 22, which is crazy good because driving and finishing is your secondary skill. I'm not sure about this, but you're probably going to have gold one man fast break. If not, then silver. That badge is very good for the fast break, so it'll basically add on to your speed. And then your acceleration is 21. So for the height for this build, you're going to want to make it 6'4 or shorter, but the taller the better in my opinion, so I'm going to stick with 6'4. Wingspan, you're going to want to put all the way up because it helps you dunk on people better because you have longer arms, you can reach the hoop from further away. Then it makes your contested shot go up, which is very good, because that'll work with mid-range Deadeye. Even though it makes your open shot go down, it equals out with your contested shot, because if anything, you're going to need a higher contested shot, because those are harder to make. Then for the weight, honestly, this doesn't matter too much, because if you're going to be a pure shot creator, you're going to want your weight to be down. But then if you're a pure slasher, you're going to want your weight to be a little bit up. So for this case... I'm going to actually put the weight a little bit down, but as you can see, I'm only putting it down 15 pounds. So I would make it lower for speed purposes, but I wouldn't make it that low because then you would lose a lot in contact dunk. Then your shoulder width, you're going to obviously want to put all the way up. So for your shooting hand, if you shoot better from the left side of the court, you're going to want to go righty. And then if you shoot better from the right side of the court, you're going to want to go lefty. Basically for this build, you're going to want to do shot creating, driving and finishing. And then you're going to want to be 6'4 or shorter, but in my opinion, the taller the better because you'll be stronger and able to dunk on people more, and you'll be able to shoot over people more because you're taller and you have longer arms and stuff like that. So yeah, that basically sums up everything. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.